Hi, we're back for week three of recording, writing a song. So this is the first part of the video, so let's get into writing some cards. As you've noticed, I'm on the 12 string this week. Thought I'd change it up and hopefully this sparks uh, some different ideas. I quite like them first two chords. I want it there. I don't particularly want to try and play that. So I think I'll have the chords down here, then I'll have stuff up here for maybe the intro, but I've been over the top as well later on in the song. So far, I think the song's got... So we've got them four cards. Maybe I should add some up here that follows a similar sort of thing. F sharp. I think I've got an idea here. I'll try and play it slow first. So we've got two parts, we've got this intro and we've got another riff part now. Oh, that's nice. So it goes higher up either the second time or the third time, depending on how many times I play it. Right, we've got a riff. So we've got a riff, we've got the verse cards. Is there any other section I want to add to this song? Possibly. 
Billy issue I'm having, obviously it's quite nice so far, but with the riff, I don't think I'm going to be able to sing over that. So I don't know if I just want to sing over these chords through the entire song and have it like a vamping type of song and have this as an instrumental break in between. Or I want to try and write another part to the song so we have something else to go to. So far I'm thinking I'm gonna have the verse that's like this. Alright, so that gives me an idea. After I do the verses, I'm gonna go into that riff. Yeah, I don't know if I want any other parts in this song. I'm gonna quickly do some playing now, playing through it and see if I wanna jump to anything else. I'll just speed it up for you, I guess. After playing through it, I think they're the only parts I need. I guess we'll use them in the structure tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hello again. So we're on to step two, which is structure. Now I think this um, song will be very quick for the structure because I have an idea of what I want to happen already. There's basically the intro part which I'm actually going to have for quite a while, it's going to go on for quite a long time. But then mainly it's just the, um, the chord section. For the verses, kind of slash chorus, I don't know if I'm going to have a singing chorus or if it's going to be instrumental. as the chorus. Right, so after playing through, I'm going to have that riff as the part after the intro, even though it would usually follow a verse. So I think the verse is going to go D, G, A twice and then B minor, G, A, riff. So we'll play the intro, play the riff, play a verse, then it does the riff again. I wonder if I should just play the riff one time through. So I'm going to play the first through and then go into the... I've discovered that when I'm doing these videos and I'm writing lyrics or something, further along the steps, everything else that I've done might be forgotten. Like in the last song, I really wanted like the upstrokes. But when I was singing along, it just felt right to do the other thing. But that's just how the writing process goes. So for now, I'm gonna write down a few ideas that I have. So when it comes to recording, and I'm trying to think, oh, what was that thing I did? I've already made a note of it. And after that, riff will go into another verse, and then into another riff. I've just had an idea. So as I play the riff after the second verse, into the riff. Intro, riff, first one, riff, verse two, riff and end on that, G, then riff all the way through again, then a verse, and then either riff and then basically do the intro backwards or just straight up do the intro backwards. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm just going to end with the intro reverse. Right, I think that is the structure done. I told you this would be a short segment, so I guess we'll get to lyric writing next. It is the final part of this video. Thank you for being here for so long. I'm actually going to talk a bit about the recording process as well as the lyrics right now. So the structure of the song is basically the same as I said before. The only different uh, thing is the take on the song that I've had. So I've kind of gone with not a full-on experimental song, 
but it's got some like cool sounds in there for an acoustic demo uh, and it's kind of different to the other songs I've wrote. So week one and week two they've basically just been like acoustic demos, um, electric guitar, like ad-libs and stuff like that, lead parts, but generally they've been pretty basic with the sounds. You know, just reverb, pitch correction, all that stuff. Whereas this, I've got some like phaser effect. It's really subtle, but it makes a difference on the vocal production on this song. And it makes it sound a bit different because there's also a 12 string in there. But I'll get more into that in a second. Right now we'll talk about the lyrics. So the lyrics in this song, there's only three verses and I'm not singing any other lyrics throughout the song. There is other vocal parts, other moments, but they're just like background vocals. So the first line is, lately I'm trouble with time. Now, I didn't know what to write about for this song. I just finished work and I knew that I was coming back and I was going to finish off this song today. I'm actually recording this a bit late. This should have been done already. And so I was like, what? Just give me a topic line. And I'm just driving home and I thought, troubled with time. So I used that line. I was like, hmm, yeah. So I know, but before I set off, I noted it down. Then I set off home. I thought, yeah, that's quite a cool idea. I can use that. So when I first picked that, I thought it might be quite a serious song or not serious, but not as strange as it's turned out to be. But it is very fun learning that a song's going to turn out like this because you go in expecting something and you're like, no, I'm actually going to do this with it. So Trouble With Time was the line that I got. And obviously I'll have the lyrics here. So it goes, lately I'm trouble with time. Time has taken its toll, time gone. I quite liked the amount of T's in that sentences. So the idea behind all these lyrics in this song, nothing uh, nothing has a personal uh, connection to me. I try not to do any of that in my songwriting anyway. I'll get into that in another video if you want. And if you do want a full lyric video, me explaining how I write lyrics, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll try and do a little five minute, 10 minute video of that. But for this song, Generally, I just try to get something that refers back to the first line subject. So the first uh, verse in this song would be time. So time has taken its toll. You know, that's quite a common thing to say. So I use that. And then time gone, you know, time's passed. Pretty simple. The next verse is lately I've fallen away. You know, fallen not as in you've tripped and fell over. More of you've been placed somewhere. So hence, this is why it says, Lately I've fallen away, fallen into a stranger place, fallen away. I thought falling into a stranger place would be quite a good idea if the time has taken its toll. So it sounds like it's quite a mental song, whoever is uh, the perspective of the song. I always try and have characters when I'm writing the songs. Uh, this is a little inside to my lyrics. So it's this character who this song's about. Um, from their perspective, it's like they're in a, a mentally either struggling or they're going through something mentally so obviously time has taken its toll and now they're in a strange place mentally I'm assuming not physically gone somewhere weird because then that leads into our final verse lately I started to dream dreaming of things that could be so real so that they've got dreams or hopes to be somewhere not the strange place but it could be, it's achievable it's so real so it's like a nice happy twist to a somewhat not happy lyrical song even though the song in itself does not sound sad and that mixed with the chords in the song that have that like kind of ooh, that's interesting it's like a realization when it goes from a weird chord into a resolve chord like a major so there's always hope in this song and there's always uh, that aspect of reality in the song's perspective achievable reality like a good reality as well as the reality of where they're positioned now mentally so that's basically the lyrics. There's only uh, three verses, so it was quite short, but I do want to go into a few of the effects that I've been using. So for the vocals, I've actually tracked the main vocals four times, and I've got two pan to the left, two pan to the right, but not all the way. And the reason I've got four tracks, not just two, is because I've got two clean takes, and then I've got another two takes with the effects on. So I'm just going to give you a little taster of the vocals, just so you can have an understanding of what I mean by experimental, and then we can end the video. So you can see it's still got that like pop aspect to it, that acoustic sound, but the vocals are just like strange. 
it's not like they exactly fit but they work now i don't want to give too much away with the production but that's the general gist but the performance video will be up on sunday so you can go check that out and uh, you can see where i'm coming from but that's the end of this video this is a second take well, this is a second installment of the writing process and hopefully you're going to enjoy the third installment this is the second installment of the writing process and hopefully you'll in in blah, 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 blah. this is the second installment of the writing process and hopefully you'll enjoy the third installment of the predorm <laughs> this is a second this is the second installment of the writing process and hopefully you'll enjoy the third predo <laughs> this is the third this is the second installment of the writing process and hopefully you'll enjoy the third installment of the performance videos on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you again for sticking around for this writing process. Hope you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you on the performance video. I have a, a fun idea of what I can wear for this video. I would really appreciate a like if you enjoyed the video, or dislike if you didn't. Comment down below anything you think I could have improved on or anything you enjoyed. But that's everything from me, so bye-bye for now and I'll see you on Sunday.